We'll soon find out. While Monique pounds those gross grubs into a pulp to make a creamy sauce, I crack on with my next dish, with another ingredient from my travels. One of the dishes that I'm super excited about is the eel, because getting those things was incredible. So I'm just going to grill this with a little ginger Cherokee glaze. Manuka honey, how exciting is that? Next, I'm going back to the fuchsia to make a chutney to accompany the goat with those beautiful berries I picked from the top of the tree. So I've caramelized the garlic, shallots, and ginger, a little bit of raw cane sugar with some butter. I'm going to use the peppery jalapeno leaves, and then I'll drop the berries in. You want to try the hoo-hoos? May I? Go for it. See, now, the taste of peanut. Exactly. See? How can it be so delicious coming from that disgusting, rubbery bug? At the risk of sounding like an animal undertaker. Is that going to be ready? Looks ready to me. It's now been three agonizing hours since we buried our goat. That smell is incredible. It's almost like we've opened the oven door. Two, three. three. And again. Great. He came out of there. Wow. There we go. The question is is the goat goat? Oh, my God. Look at that. Seriously. Lamb. <laughs> ah.